Welcome to Yoshi Wiggle Academy, where I am going to teach you how to get glitchy on FIFA. Having that crazy dribbling will just take your gameplay to the next level, as well as make for some insane clips. And trust me, when you cook someone, it just hits different. It's just, it's the best feeling in my opinion. But to make sure we are on the same page and you know I'm certified to be your instructor for this academy, I've put some clips on the screen so that you can see that I know what I am talking about when it comes to the wiggling and getting glitchy department. So with dribbling, there are a lot of little things that go into it. And so that is not something we can capture all in one episode. And so that is why we have created the Yoshi Wiggle Academy. Each episode will dive into something specific with dribbling. And then hopefully at the end, we're going to wrap everything together and so that you can become a certified wiggler. That is the goal of this. And I do think that I will be able to help you guys reach that goal. Trust me, wiggling so fun once you learn how to do it team of the season's coming out soon we want to make sure we're securing our rewards so you know taking that gameplay to the next level getting rewards it's just a win-win it's a win-win as you can see right now on the screen we're just we're moving moving our opponents all over the place i want you guys to be that person that when someone matches you in champs they don't even want to be in the game anymore they just they want to be gone and so that is what I'm here to teach you. We, you can see left stick dribbling, speed boost, shot cancels, all the sort of things going on right now on your screen. I'm going to have a live controller on the screen, so pay attention to that, as well as an edited controller so that you can kind of get an idea from using both of how to do whatever the episode for the day is. And so, to dive into today's episode, today's lesson speed boost tutorial so as you're gonna see we are just flying 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 and it is crazy if you're able to attack the space quickly how hard it is for your opponent to break you down and so for our speed boost tutorial the first thing we're going to look at is the step overs the step overs are so so overpowered this year especially when you want to fly in the space and oftentimes you can protect the ball while flying into that space so that your opponent cannot tackle the ball off of you. It is so, so effective. I love using the step overs this year. It's been something that I've added more and more into my gameplay. And trust me, especially if you are someone that suffers from bad gameplay, step overs will help you in those games. When you feel like you can't move, Using the step over will help you accelerate in the space. And I know a lot of us have that problem where we get on and we can't move. Step overs is the solution to your problem. Being able to just attack the space quickly will be just so, so helpful, especially with people that do not like to change to their center backs. And so now I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. The easiest way to think of this is you're gonna start with your right stick going in the direction that you are running. So in this case, to the right. So I'm gonna push my right stick to the right and rotate it 90 degrees. As soon as you rotate it 90 degrees and let go, you sprint. So now you might ask, 90 degrees which way? You can rotate it 90 degrees either direction. So as you can see on the screen, I push it right, and if I wanna rotate it up, doesn't matter, let go and hold sprint. Be aware, look at the live controller if you're confused. If I'm going to the left, I'm gonna push my right stick to the left and then rotate 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. It does not make a difference, but as soon as you let go of your right stick, we wanna sprint and accelerate into that space. The only difference that occurs by rotating your right stick in a different direction, whether it be clockwise or counterclockwise, is that the foot that will step over the ball is based on which way you spin it. And so if you really wanna optimize this, depending on where the defender is located, that's one way that you can decide which foot to use to help protect the ball. 
but typically when I do it, I've kind of just got used to depending on the angle I'm going at, which way is easier for me to be more consistent. So with some practice, you can kind of get used to that. As you can see, I'm going down, meaning I start down on my controller on the right stick and rotate it 90 degrees up. And when I rotate it, as soon as I let go, we hit the sprint button and accelerate into the space. Again, this time I'm going up. So I start with my right stick all the way up on the screen rotate it down and accelerate with r2 into that space it is pretty simple to do it's just a 90 degree rotation and you always start with your right stick in the direction that your player is facing so 90 degrees and in the direction your player is facing and then we let go and sprint now something you can do to take your step overs to an even better level is that when you're sprinting and exiting into that space where you point your left stick will allow you to accelerate in different directions. So instead of just accelerating straight every time, as you can see here, I'm accelerating diagonal on the screen. So that way my player doesn't just necessarily, necessarily go straight, but if you want to go, you know, attack space in a diagonal manner, or if the opponent's directly in front of you, so that way you can go to the side of them, attacking the space diagonally is also very effective. So remember, right stick in the direction that you are going is where it will start so if i'm going left the right stick goes to the left and then 90 degrees let go sprint and then the left stick goes where you want to exit so right stick where we're going 90 degrees let go hold our sprint and accelerate into the space that we want Hopefully that makes sense. If not, please pay attention to the live controller. Try to explain that the best with words as I could. But as you're just gonna see here, when you're just at a standstill, or you just wanna really, really just go, you can see how I'm going from complete no speed to just accelerating so fast. And oftentimes your opponent is just not ready for that acceleration. And so that is why I really, really love using this especially like i said when the gameplay is bad step overs are your friend definitely take some time to learn this really 90 degrees that's all you need trust me you can do it our second part of today's tutorial is going to be the l1 lb speed boost this is my personal favorite and you're going to see we just fly in the space and this is something that you can really bait with. I love, love, love doing this. It's really one of my favorite speed boosts in the game. It's just a quick way to attack sometimes, like even if it's just like a quick two yards, quick five yards of space. As you can see here, our player will just look at that. Just that, that gives you that quick, quick space, quick acceleration, like into the space, into the little gap. And if your opponent's not really reading that, it's just basically impossible for them to catch up to you. You can see we keep getting that little touch in the space. I really love to do this, especially, you know, if somebody's just always expecting the step overs, the L1 LB speed boost is just really, really awesome. Just something that you have to work on with timing. So it might be a little bit more difficult than doing a step over. But once you get it down, very easy. As you're gonna see, we're holding L1 or LB if you're on Xbox. We let go of it and then we just hold sprint. So maybe it's actually a little bit easier for you. Hold L1 or LB if you're on Xbox, let go. And as soon as you're letting go, you hold the sprint button and just accelerate into the space. Very, very easy to do. Um, L1, like I said, LB if you're on Xbox. As soon as you let go, hold your sprint button. This is typically better though when you're facing and going towards the goal. And so like, for example, I'm going to the right, so it's gonna be better to do an L1 speed boost to the right, because when you click L1, it faces you to goal. And so trying to go backwards can be a little bit more difficult or a little bit weirder. It still does work, but it's typically best when going towards goal. Whereas maybe if you're using a step over, you can go back sideways anyway, like I said, L1 or LB, as soon as you let go of it, you just hold sprint. Like I said, one of my personal favorites, 
really, really love using this. This is really effective with high acceleration players, especially when trying to attack those first like five yards of space. I really, I really, really love using this one. And something that you can do, as you see here, step over the first time, then we use the L1 speed boost, attack the space, our opponent is just left behind. People just don't expect you to just look at the, just like an explosion of speed. Really, really nice. When you're in those one-on-one -on -one situations, you can just attack those five yards way quicker than your opponent's able to react to, especially if they're not switching to their center backs. Again, L1 speed boost. Then I combined it with a step over. By being able to attack the space quickly, we create an easy chance on the opposite end. Again, L1 or LB if you're on Xbox, let go of it, and then we sprint. Again, might sound repetitive, but that is the best way to learn is by just saying it and doing it over and over. L1 or LB if you're on Xbox, and then hold the sprint button right as you let go. I really love using this one super effective and now on to the third one the third part of today's video is the l1 heal to heal there's a new skill move in the game but you can actually speed boost out of it and not many people do this or even know about it as you're going to see here your opponent is definitely not expecting the speed boost part and you will just fly in the space i really love doing this especially when you pull it off and it is actually very simple to do. One thing to note, they have to have at least four star skills to be able to perform this, but super effective nonetheless. And now to show you, hold L1, and while holding L1, you're gonna perform a heal to heal. Meaning, hold L1, flick your right stick the direction you're going, and then the opposite. So in this case, I'm going up. So I'm gonna hold L1, flick up then down, so the way I'm going, then the opposite way, and then double tap our sprint button, which in my case would be R2 or RT. Again, hold L1 or LB, flick your right stick, so in this case, right then left, because I'm facing right, so the way you're facing in the opposite direction, and then let go and double tap R2. You can see the live camera to kind of get the timing down. L1, right left on the right stick. Make sure L1 is being held, while you're flicking the right stick, do not let go of L1. And then after you're done finishing flicking the right stick, we're gonna let go of everything and double tap R2. So L1, in this case, I'm going to left. So I'm gonna flick left then right, and then double tap R2. LB, left then right, double click R2. Pretty easy to do, just get used to the timing of things. The more you try it, the better you will get at it. Something, like I said, I really enjoy doing, especially when you pull it off. People not expecting the speed boost part of it. And so if you can really add that into your game, it is very effective. Now for the fourth part of today's video, we have the scoop turn. As simple as it sounds, the scoop turn is so nice to just create an angle and accelerate into the space. Oftentimes your opponent unless they're super hyperactive with their player switching, will not be able to even get to the ball, even with the player switching being good a lot of the times. You just scoop into the space, and then we just accelerate. Scoop into the space and accelerate. This is really good when you have your back to goal, or you're at like a side angle, and you want to end up facing the goal. So as you're going to see, I use it to turn my player inside a lot, and just be able to turn in, and then just fly, create easy, easy chances. It's pretty simple to do, really effective though at the same time. You know, dribbling doesn't necessarily need to be over complicated, but rather knowing when to use it. So to perform this, we're gonna start off by doing a fake shot, which is circle, then X on PlayStation, or B, then A on Xbox. When you do this, make sure you're not pushing the pass button significantly later than the shoot button. You wanna basically be like a millisecond apart, so that way you don't accidentally pass the ball. So we're gonna perform a fake shot. After performing a fake shot, you're gonna to wanna to move your left stick in like a diagonal manner. Otherwise you'll get the wrong fake shot animation. Something to note is five star skillers will be better at this. Four star skillers can do it, but five star skillers will definitely be better. In certain cases, the four star skillers, it just gets thrown off a little bit. But we're gonna scoop. And in this example, I was face down 
so I move it diagonally right. By putting it diagonally, it's able to give you a better chance of getting that scoop animation, and so you don't get something that you don't want. Scoop animation, and then we sprint. After we fake shot, we'll sprint. Attack the space, that is really, really effective, especially when you're on like the last defender, or you're trying to quickly turn your player, your sideways, you can see here, L1 speed boost, and then I do a scoop turn. Really, really good. I love doing it around the box. And like I said, on the last defender, and then we just accelerate. Very, very effective. Oftentimes really hard for somebody to guard because it's just a quick change of direction. So as simple as it sounds, it is very effective. It's something you have to practice and you can even throw a fake on it. So to recap today's lesson, step overs. 90 degree angle, your right stick will start the way you're going. L1, LB speed boost. You hold L1 and right when you let go, we're gonna wanna sprint. L1 heel to heel, make sure you do the heel to heel while you're still holding L1, then you let go of everything and we double tap sprint. And finally, the scoop turn, just a fake shot, just work on your left stick angle. Hopefully this speed boost tutorial helps you guys and let me know what you want to see going forward. And as always, stay wiggly.